Hello, I'm William with Motorsports Lane RVs. I'm here today to do a walkthrough on the brand new Raptor 415. It's a new floor plan they've just come out with. Uh, I think you'd be pretty impressed with it. It's got a 15 foot garage, which we'll take a look at later. Uh, so that'll fit just about any side by side you can come up with. We're gonna walk around the outside first and then we'll uh, head inside. I'm gonna show you some of the, the features and, and how they uh, can work well for you on the trailer. First off, these steps, these are the solid steps. They've got adjustable uh, feet on them. So if you're at a dry camping area where you've got an unlevel uh, situation, you can uh, lengthen one step, shorten the other so that it's uh, nice and solid. And these are zero gravity. So wherever you let go, it pretty much just stays there. So there's no weight to factor in with those. When they're all the way up, they go right into the door frame here and kind of catch themselves there. And uh, then you shut the outside door and you're ready to go. You just pull them down and that's it. So a great feature there. Coming up front, you've got the uh, pass-through storage right here. And this has a really unique uh, wiring system with the trailer. It's uh, all color-coded and, uh, and numbered, all the wires. So if there's a problem with the electrical system, we can trace it down to which wires are giving a problem and uh, saves a lot of time. And uh, we can get you back on the road that much quicker. Up here, you've got the uh, hydraulics for the six-point auto leveling system. So you've got six hydraulic jacks that come down on this. Uh, four in front of the axles, two behind the axles, completely levels and stabilizes the trailer with just one push of the button. And then when you come back to hook up to the trailer, it remembers where the trailer was uh, height-wise with the hitch up front. So it'll bring it right back to where you were, you're back in, done. Makes it really simple. Uh, coming around the front, you have your uh, propane tanks, two uh, seven and a half gallon propane tanks. So they're the bigger propane tanks, not the five gallon. You've got the, uh, the uh, hitch here with the rubber um, built into the hitch to give it some, uh, some uh, suspension, basically. So when you're uh, braking or giving it the gas, you don't have such a metal, metal uh, chucking effect. It helps uh, dampen that down. You've got a painted front cap. Comes with a three-year warranty against uh, fading or chalking. So it's not just a fiberglass infused color. It's actually painted. There are a couple stickers on it too, but the bulk of it is uh, painted. You can see you have the nice uh, docking lights here, the LEDs, and then these uh, lights here shine right down onto your hitch. So when you're backing up, you can see that. 5,500 watt generator, which runs off its own dedicated 30 gallon fuel tank. So you have the uh, 30 gallon fuel tank for the generator, plus another 30 gallons for the fuel pump to put in your uh, four wheelers and, and your different uh, toys you brought along with you. You can kind of see it's a high gloss fiberglass, really nice finish on this. You don't see the little strands of fiberglass in it. The Phylon, it's uh, just a beautiful finish they put on this. Um, here's your auto level control in this compartment here. So it's really just easy as pushing uh, the auto level button and there you go. In here you have uh, uh, all your uh, hookups for at the campsite. Your, Battery disconnect switch, winterizing is very simple. You've got an outside shower with a 25 foot long uh, accordion garden style hose. And then uh, you have a, a hatch here to open up to bring the, the cords and hoses up through the bottom so they're not dangling out over the side. 12 gallon hot water heater. Most trailers come with a six gallon hot water heater. So you've got lots of uh, hot water capacity. And coming down the side here, These are uh, 7,000 pound Dexter axles. You've got three axles here. That's uh, 21,000 pounds of uh, axle support. That's uh, giving you close to 4,000 pounds of cargo capacity in this trailer. Um, you've got the cable slide out here. It's just a simple system that works really well. Uh, it's not complicated. It has one uh, electric motor that runs the cable system in and out and uh, not a lot to go wrong with it. It's just, uh, Simplified system there. G-rated tires. These are 14 ply tires. Um, that's basically, it's pretty close to a semi truck tire. You're not going to have any problems with that, uh, especially with the 14 plies. Here's those other uh, stabilizing jacks you can see down. Coming back here, you've got, uh, like I said, one 30 gallon tank for just the generator, and then 30 gallons for the uh, fuel hose here. Okay. Right here is where you turn that on and off. You've got a uh, gas gauge here. So uh, that's easy to, 
to check out. 50 amp service with this. This uh, unit here has three air conditioners on it. So uh, there's been concerns in the past on how you're gonna run three ACs off a 5,500 watt generator. The system has the uh, Omnicool system from Keystone, which basically uh, allows all three ACs to run off the 5,500 watt generator. They've put bigger fans in it. It's a more efficient system so that uh, you, you, can, uh, you don't just have to run two ACs at one time. So that's really helpful if you're down the deserts and trying to keep it cool. Uh, this ladder folds away, gets you up to the uh, walk-on roof. And uh, the trailer does have a solar panel on it, which is built into the trailer with a charge controller on it also, a digital charge controller. I'll show you that from the inside. The back here, this has been uh, improved and improved over the years, the whole uh, deck ramp system. Now you have these supports which come down just to make it that much more stable. It used to be just the cables here. Um, in fact, you can see these cables with where it's set right now. It's pretty much a jacks that are, that are giving it support. It's the newest uh, uh, railing system. It's on rollers, these caster wheels right here. So it's very easy to uh, pull out and put back away. You've got the uh, power awning out over the back. And uh, we'll come around the side here. This is a, uh, what they call the zero gravity uh, ramp, kind of like the steps that I showed you earlier. This comes down and you can leave it at whatever position you want. It's basically, there's no weight to it. Um, so when you put it all the way down the ramp position or up, anybody can put it up and down. You've got a uh, outside key lock right here that you can use your key. That will disconnect the, uh, the locking mechanism to the, the uh, ramp door so that you can open it from the outside or you have a yellow strap up there that you can pull from the inside if you want to let it down from the inside. Uh, more of these uh, steps like I talked about, real solid. It's got the, uh, the railing there. And coming around this side, you can see you have two huge power awnings with LED lights under them. So between the awning on the back, the two in the side, you've, you've got a lot of shade to work with. Really nice setup, beautiful, beautiful RV. Love the new colors with it, kind of the darker gray. And we'll take a look inside. So inside, like I was saying, this is a uh, brand new floor plan. Uh, you've got the double slide outs here, huge couch. I believe it's 131 inches. You've got the uh, 18 cubic foot propane or electric fridge. So I'll show you this. This is the biggest uh, fridge you're gonna get in an RV, huge. Big enough uh, uh, drawers on the side here to put a gallon of milk in. So you don't have to take up the space inside. Huge freezer, nothing in between the two uh, freezer doors. And the way they used to do these, they, they uh, partitioned this off and kind of made the uh, freezer not quite as useful. This trailer does uh, come with the backup camera. So it's not just prepped for the backup camera, it actually has the camera and the monitor all as a, a package with it. You've got the beautiful LED uh, backlit countertops. This is their newest colors. They've kind of lightened it up a bit. You've got the uh, brand new Furion st uh, stove and oven with the glass top to it, which folds back out of the way. Makes for a nice uh, backsplash too. If you're cooking uh, bacon and that, it'll kind of catch that instead of getting up on the window. 22 inch oven with the uh, glass front to it. And it's auto uh, lighting. You just turn this uh, right here and that'll light uh, whatever you need there. Nice pantry right here you know, for your canned goods and things like that. The couch, this is a brand new color they came out with. The camera's not gonna pick up on it, but it's got a really neat texture to it. It's kind of between the leather and the, uh, the cloth feel. It's nice, it's, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, I've never seen anything like it uh, in an RV. You've got heat and massage in the chairs. Uh, so that's nice, and then you also have uh, uh, LED lights underneath, which you just turn on from the switch here. Okay. The uh, blinds, you've got, kind of see here, you've got the day blinds, which pull down, and then you have the night blinds. Okay. So that's on all the different uh, windows in the trailer. Really nice feature compared to the, uh, the, the cloth pleated blinds, which typically lose their they're pleating to them and then they don't fold right and they get all jacked up when you're trying to put them up and down, especially in the bigger windows. So really nice setup here. 
I want to show you the garage. It's probably one of the more impressive things with the trailer being 15 feet of unencumbered space. I mean, you don't have the half bath over here coming into the 15 feet. It's a full on 15 feet of garage here to work with. Um, the tie downs, these are really unique to uh, the Raptors. Uh, they're welded to the floor or to the I beams of the trailer. So they're rated at 5,000 pounds a piece. Your uh, typical D rings that uh, toilers come with that flip up, they're rated at 2,500 pounds. So when you've got a 1,500 pound uh, side by side in here, bouncing up and down, going down dirt road, do you want 2,500 pound D-rings that might rip out of the floor or 5,000 pound a piece uh, tie down points? I think you know the answer there. Um, on the back here, you've got the sliding glass door set up on this. This also has uh, screen inserts. So if you wanna have this all be screen, you can um, just slide down the plastic um, window looking parts to it and you've got that. And then obviously easy to come and go from the back deck. Uh, you've got the upper bunk down here, cup holders. This uh, creates a bed too when you flip the uh, sides in. And then uh, these will also go along the side of the trailer if you, uh, if you want the maximum headroom that you have right here. So uh, two different ways for these to go, either like a sandwich with the bottom one coming up and meeting the top or hang this one from the wall so you get uh, more, more height up front. You can take a look at the uh, half bath there. Very nicely done. And you can also see the washer and dryer prep. And real important, a lot of uh, toy haulers I've seen over the years do not give you a heat duct back in the garage. I don't know what they expect for the people sleeping in the back, but you actually have a heat duct here. And um, you know, that's enough to, to uh, warm this area up pretty good. Uh, one of the three ACs up there, which does run on a thermostat. That's real important too. A lot of times they give you the auxiliary ACs and they run on a blue to red dial, which you have to try to guess what temperature you want to have the trailer at. This right here is the temperature sensor for this room. So you've got three zones in this, the master bedroom, the main living room, and then the uh, garage area. You can set the temperatures uh, accordingly to each room. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look uh, up front. USB ports, got those here and there through the trailer. So right here, uh, this is your uh, solar control, uh, digital solar controller right here. What that does is uh, turns the, the solar charging on and off when the batteries reach uh, their, their uh, full voltage so that you don't overcook your batteries. And you've got a little display right here. You can kind of see what's going on with that. This is the in-command system, uh, really unique to this trailer. All of your, basically everything from your lights, your awnings, your slide outs, turning on your generator, your water heater, um, AC, everything is controlled through this uh, control panel right here. That's really great, but the, uh, the even nicer thing about that is you have an app that you download from Jensen to your smartphone, and that will, uh, right from your phone, you can control everything on the trailer. I don't think there's anything you can't control from that, so uh, it's a really, uh, really great system there. This is a new uh, idea they came out with from Furion. It's a LTE Wi-Fi router. So what you can do, as I understand, you can get a chip from your cell phone provider to put in this, and then uh, this will basically tie into Verizon Wireless or Sprint, AT&T, whoever. Once that's hooked up, you can then uh, control everything from your trailer that you can through here from, you know, a thousand miles away, wherever you are. You get on your phone, you're gonna tie into your trailer, like a lot of these smart homes, where you can control uh, just about everything. You can turn on the AC, turn on the heat, check temperatures, um, pretty much endless what you can do with that. So, um, and then it's also a, a uh, Wi-Fi booster for around your trailer too. So pretty cool stuff going on there. Come on up front. Nice solid wood doors, got good weight to them. You have the closet slide out up here. And uh, this particular model has a queen size bed. This also comes with a king bed option. Uh, but this is the queen bed, which is a full uh, 60 inch wide by 80 inch long queen. Got some nice uh, closet storage here. This is all part of the slide out. And a couple nice big drawers too. Uh, hidden hinges. So the hinges are on the inside of the cabinet, not you know on the outside. Uh, so you have to see the ugly hinges. So real nice work there. Take a look at the bathroom there. 
And in the bathroom, you've got a full fiberglass shower, seamless uh, one-piece shower with the adjustable uh, uh, sprayer in there. It goes up and down, all the LED backlighting, uh, very nicely done. Porcelain toilet. There's so much to go over on this trailer. I'm sure I've forgotten some things. Um, we'll walk downstairs. I'll see if I can think anything else to, to go over and you can have one more look at this beautiful floor plan. Ah, here we go. I forgot to go over this. So it's got these stools that come out, which is pretty cool if you just want to sit here and have breakfast and then they uh, uh, go out of the way. Oh. Pushed out on these. And they're very sturdy. They you might look at something like that just on the camera and go, well, yeah, that's probably kind of chintzy the way they did that, but uh, they're very sturdy to sit on. They don't move around much and uh, work really well. Get the fireplace, huge TV. You have the loft up top here too for the kiddos. Yeah, like I said, there's lots to to uh, miss on this, but anyway, hopefully I've kept your attention through this uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Come on down to Motorsportsland, take a look at the newest Raptors. Again, I'm William, and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.